hey guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see right here i messed up my wig so my wig was like a blondish brownish wig and i used the blue dye and it turned green but at the end of this video you're gonna see how i made a miracle out of it so in today's video i'll be using the wig dealers touch up gel and lace spray um these two products are glueless so I wanted to give these products a try um, just due to I have used the spray before but I never used the touch up gel. So I said okay let me give Wig Dealer a try. I still have not purchased a wig from Wig Dealer maybe one day. <laughs> um, I will but I have not got around to purchase a wig from that company but I do use their products. And as you can see right here I'm using my Bow Hole Skin Protect before I put on um, my wig just this skin protect I use this with glue and with glueless products you just want to make sure you know don't want to get no bumps on your forehead okay but as you can see right here there's the tube and you could just twist the tube it has an arrow on the front um you know on and off and I'll let you know and it's clear um, and it comes out really smooth. So I really like how it's in this tube. And you know me. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm going to do it. And as you can see, I'm putting on the gel on my um on my five head. And you know, just slapping it on there. I was like looking in three mirrors. So in my vanity, I have three mirrors. So that's what I'm doing. Just looking to make sure I got it right and tight. And just making sure I'm looking good. But y'all already know. I'm not no professional. I don't know what I'm doing. So you already know I messed up on this wig. So I already messed up when um I used the blue shampoo and it turned green. And then I had to bleach it again. And then that's how I got the color now. And then now, you know, I'm just trying to put it on. So it's not the product. It's the user. It's me. I think I'm going too fast. And trying to put on the product and it just was not going right so you could kind of see in the corner where the um hair was getting stuck to the gel so it was just looking a hot mess however at the end it comes out to a nice you know little hairstyle you know look a little cute cute you know do a little thing thing so but yeah so that's just me playing with it trying to get it right but you know you know me just still working my thing trying to get this lace thing together and as i say i'm trying to be consistent with my videos i feel like i say that every video but i'm just like people been saying now i'm manifesting that one day you know maybe i may become an influencer maybe this may take off maybe i may collab with somebody maybe somebody might see me just like oh she got personality i want to do something with her or i want to sponsor her or something like that you know help me so i'm just putting it on there you know manifesting or you know for me you know praying just letting god use me okay just a little sidebar I just want to put out there. Because a year from now, I want to look back at this video. I'm just like, you know what? Right then, I just put in the atmosphere. I manifested it. And I spoke it into existence. And look at me now. But, yeah. Look at the color. I think it looks real good on my on my skin. The skin tone. So, if you know me, you already know I be scared to try color. You know, I love me a good old 1B. A jet black. But this color, it was, like, really cute. And, you know, um, so I just wanted to try it. And the roots were, like, dark. So, it was really good. And I think a previous video, I did show me unboxing this wig. I just didn't really um, wear it like that. Because I got, I ordered this wig from the doula. And it was not what it looked like on the website. So, I was highly upset. However, this wig has grown on me. So, I really am feeling it. So, as you can see me right now, just playing with it, doing it. And this is why I let you know, if I could put on a wig, you can put on a wig. It's just trial and error. Trial and error, okay? So, I just want to see you, let you know, this is why I said I messed up. Like, right here. I'm going to pause it. Right there. <laughs> That's where the hair got stuck in the gel. In the spray and it's just like 
I don't even know what else to do. How? But, you know, I'm just fixing it. I'm taking my little spatula. I'm taking my little edge comb. I'm taking the, the, um, the blow dry. And I'm trying to fix it. You know, I'm trying to look cute. You know, trying to fix it. Because I'm not about to take this off and redo it. So, you know, just take whatever you got. And, you know, fix it. Use what you got to you to get what you want. Okay? <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing right here. So, like I said, it's all about trial and error. Because if you can look from my first video when I put on a wig to now. Okay? I done did my thing. So, but as you can see coming up in my video, you about to see what I did. <laughs> And I did my thing, okay? So, guys, this is the finished product. Um, in the, the video today, I used the Wig Dealer um, Touch Up Lace Bonding Gel. And on, on top of that, I used their spray. Um the wig dealer melting spray so i'm assuming with the touch up you use it like if you already have a glue and then you want to touch it up but i just use it to install this wig as a glueless unit today um so it's holding up very well it's been 24 hours since um i installed this wig and i took a shower and um, it's been 24 hours since I have installed this wig. I took a shower and everything else. So, yeah. So, it's been 24 hours since I have installed this wig with the wig dealer touch up, um, binding gel, lace binding gel. So, it's worked really good and I use it with the holding spray. So, this is what my wig look like up close. And, yeah, I really like this glueless method and it says you could just wash it off with water so i'm not gonna wear this wig um tonight so i only wore one night to just to see and i just put this on but as y'all can see like i'm still i struggle putting on eyelashes like they would not stay on so i don't know like i used the pen but i ran out of my pen is like dry so i usually use like um this ain't the right thing so to put on my lashes, I usually use the Kiss. Uh, I usually use the Kiss Lash Glue um, Liner, but I ran out of that one and I need to buy another one. So I just been using like the regular liquid glue and I struggle to put on these lashes. So as you can see right now, it looks a hot mess. I'm struggling, but neither here nor there we talk about this wig dealer lace bond so lace bonding gel so i had it on 24 hours um i did take a shower and i had a scarf on my head and it stayed on and it's up there like it's up there really good and it was no mess really i did have to like wipe my forehead off just kind of get it off and it kind of looked like how gots to be will look kind of shiny but it was easy just to just wipe off um with water which was really good and so with the spray use that before so i really love wig dealers um products i really like it and far as this wig so this was a wig that i previously purchased before from the doula and i just haven't really been wearing it because like the color was did not match what it said on the uh, website so i kind of messed up and as you can see in this picture i used this to kind of thought the blue would kind of turn it tone it down however it turned the hair green so uh what i did was put some bleach on it and see if that helps so this is this is the kind of color that the hair came out to which i think is kind of cute like you know you mess up stuff and it comes out really cute so it's like all these different color ash blondes and all this type of stuff so yeah so that's what happened with this wig so just messed it up and just wearing it and as you can see right now one lash on, one lash off. And you can see, la wearing lashes really make a difference. Like, bam. But, anyway. But, yeah. The, <laughs> cover that up. But, yeah. The Wig Dealer Lace Barn Gel Spray. I highly recommend it if you're a first-time user. You don't want to take out your edges and wear glue. If you want to use it, just take it on and go. Um, I really highly recommend it. It's easy to apply. And as you can see on my video earlier, 
you have this right here and you just squeeze it turn it on and off the i had it off so yeah you have it on and off it has the off and on and you just close it up really easy to use and perfect so and with dealer they ship stuff very 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 fast so highly suggest it if you are a new user using um installing your wig great product to use and i don't know we don't say in instructions to use it together but i use both of them together just to put you know they're two wig dealer products so i just use them together Thank you guys and see you in my next video.